Welcome back to the University Report. The University of Wisconsin Platteville baseball team dropped a double header to host Washington University St. Louis 12 to 0 and 5 to 3 on a chilly Thursday afternoon in St. Louis. The Pioneers paced a UW Platteville attack with two hits in the loss for his fourth multi hit of the season. The Pioneers also lost a close game to Loris on Tuesday. This coming up weekend, they will play at UW Oshkosh. It's spring and that means it's time for Mudfest. This Saturday at the Rugby Fields will be an all-day tournament. UWP has two teams in this year's competition. One side is the current rugby team and the other is a team of alums. There are two fields to watch the action. The alumni start at 9.50 a.m. on field two and the other team starts at 9 a.m. on field one. The Pioneer softball team lost a doubleheader 5-0 and 8-0 on Tuesday night against number 17th ranked Coe College. The two starting pitchers for the Coe Cohawks held the Pioneers to just two hits and combined for 26 strikeouts on the afternoon. The Cohawks scored 10 of their 13 runs on the day with two outs including all eight runs in the second game of the afternoon. The losses dropped the Pioneers to 5-7 and seven, and their next opponent is Loris. Stay tuned because when we come back on the University Report, question of the week and this weekend's weather. Five. While polio was paralyzing 1,000 children a day, Rotary International committed to a goal, a goal of ending polio worldwide. Very soon now, after contributing nearly $600 million and immunizing over 2 billion children, the goal will be achieved. Eradicating polio worldwide. That is humanity in motion. That is Rotary. It is so easy to give back. I don't have a lot of money to help people, but I do have something. I have time. Get up and do something. Just imagine how strong a society we could be. Every one of us has a role to play in making our communities and our country stronger. Discover yours. Help us continue to make a difference in the life of our nation. Go to serve.gov and find the opportunity that works for you. And this message is brought to you by the Corporation for National and Community Service. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Some dogs fetch and roll over. Some dogs take you to Spain and shopping for refrigerators, help you get through grad school, start your own business, go on hikes in the Grand Canyon, some dogs you trust with your life every day. Being partners with a guide dog is having the freedom to do what you want in life. Nothing more, nothing less. And with your help, nothing need ever change that. Call 1-888-884-DOGS or visit guidedogs.com. Now it's time for question of the week. This week we ask students, who do you think will advance to the national championship game in NCAA basketball? Um, VCU is going to run out Butler. Butler is too much of a half-court game. VCU is better three-point shooting and can get out on the break faster. UConn's been struggling uh, in the season, so they're going to lose to Kemba Walker, Kemba Walker and the UConn Huskies. And the UConn Huskies are too, have too much firepower, and they're going to beat uh, VCU for the national championship. Uh, in the national championship game, I think that Butler is going to beat UConn. Uh, I think Butler is going to beat them because they're doing amazing right now. Well, the final four, I think, first of all, UConn and Kentucky is, is going to be a great matchup. And, but I think Kentucky is going to win, actually. And uh, for VCU and Butler, I'm, I'm thinking maybe Butler going to win because they got more size. And VCU is just, they, I'm thinking they're probably getting lucky how they got here. And, uh, and the final will be Kentucky and Butler which Kentucky going to win the matchup because Campbell Walker is just too good. Uh, I think the Wisconsin Badgers are going to win it all, baby. 
Um, basically, I think it's going to be UConn versus VCU, and I think uh, UConn's going to take it all. Uh, the way it's looking now and the way I figure it's, uh, I think UConn going to win it with Kimball Walker. Uh, that kid is very good, obviously. He would have made it this far if he wasn't good. Uh, I think Kansas also is in a, in a stretch for it. Kansas can beat UConn. That's going to be a Kentucky. Kentucky is what it is. My fault, Kentucky. Uh, so Kentucky and UConn, it's between Kentucky and UConn. VCU and Butler, it was nice that they made it this far, but I don't, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to happen. And now it's time to look at your weekend weather forecast. We're going to start with Friday afternoon here. You've got rain and a chance of snow showers. Temperature high of around 49 and the wind is going to be at 16 miles per hour. Look into Friday evening showers yet again. Temperature will be an overnight low of 30, wind at 14 miles an hour, so not that bad. And then we're going to take a look at Saturday to kick off your weekend. Mostly sunny and it is going to get a little bit warmer. High of around 53 and the wind will die down 10 miles per hour. All right, taking a look at your seven day forecast Saturday, 53, low of around 33. Sunday, a little bit rainy, high of around 49, low of around 39. And then Monday, again, a little bit rainy, high of around 48, low of around 34. And then Tuesday, partly cloudy, high of around 48. And then we're going to take a look at Wednesday here, a little more sunny, 57, low of around 40. Thursday, 59, also partly cloudy with a low of around 45. And then Friday, a little bit rainy as well, high of around 57 and a low of 43. So the weather for tomorrow, for April's Day, April Fool's Day, not so not, not so good. the greatest thing. Rain no. and maybe snow showers. Mm -hmm. Not the greatest thing. Do you thing. have any jokes for, for April Fool's Day? I plan on getting my roommates a couple times. Well, I know uh, you, you may not have any jokes, but uh, you have a birthday to celebrate. I do, and we are not going to disclose my age. It's a secret. That'll be next week's question on question of the week. Oh. All right. Well, thank you for joining us here at the University Report. I am Jesse Buzinski. And I'm Reed Seiler. And I'm April Kilt. Thanks for watching. Thank you.